start off with the news and some serious news that the vlogging virus is getting worse and inflicted this week our very own Mike Jeffries. Um, as it's such a popular app but I like this one. Right, so we'll move along to the comments from last week's show. Thank you all for your positive responses. <laughs> yes we were, we were very pleased. A little bit nervous about putting the show out there so we're glad you really liked it. Um, Cycle Steffa asked the question top work would also like to be interested to hear Abby's views on getting more women cycling in cycle clubs and try to address those issues, 95% male, and that is wrong. Abby. I don't cycle. <laughs> she doesn't cycle. I don't cycle. <laughs> She's not the person to ask. <laughs> but she obviously was very convincing with her bike tech. <laughs> but she knows nothing about bikes. As as we will probably find out in a in a in another video that we have because we've got some more ideas based on my lack of cycling knowledge to yes. come. So what tool stay is tuned. This for? Yes, <laughs> stay tuned and look forward to that. Right. So what are we doing today, Al? Today we are going to be doing some what happens next. So I've got some clips uh, that I'm going to show you, and then you have to tell me. I'm going to give you some multiple choice answers and you've got to tell me what's going to happen next in the video. So you're making me guess and look stupid again? Yes. Well, I'm the only one who's prepared here. You haven't got anything ready for me to do. So until that day comes, I'm just going to keep making the things. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's go. Are these are on TikTok. Yeah, these, these are from TikTok. So I wanted some short clips and I couldn't quite find anything on YouTube. So I took, I downloaded TikTok and I took to TikTok, so we're on trend right now. Okay. <laughs> Let's clock the first one. Yep. Okay, so what is going to happen here? Slow mo. Yep, that's all you're getting. <laughs> There's like two seconds. <laughs> so. <laughs> There's a foot <laughs> over on the right hand side there. So, does he A. go to do a wheelie and his front tyre comes off? B. a goat runs in from the side and knocks him off? Or C. He jumps onto the saddle of the bike and rides it like a surfboard. Let's go for wheelie. Wheelie? Here we go. Got some special effects in. There he goes, <laughs> and there goes the tire. <laughs> you you know, um, just, just, well, just to save he himself. Saved it. Just, just saved it, yeah. That was lucky. <laughs> right, ready for the next one? The next one. Okay, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> These clips are very short. I know, I, but they, they, the stuff happens really quick, so you've got to be careful. So, A, a small dog is chasing him from behind. B, he loses control and crashes into a tree. Or C, he gets clotheslined by a low-lying branch. I think I've seen this clip, and there is a dog following him down the course. I'm going to go with the dog. The dog? No, he just absolutely smashes <laughs> into a tree. <laughs> <laughs> Steve Cox going downhill. <laughs> right, next one. So how how is this happening right here? So you've got two people cycling. Is is he a getting pulled by a truck? B they are actually in front of a green screen, or C he's getting pulled by another bike. Confused for a minute because I thought that was Chris Martin from Coldplay. <laughs> um, I reckon he's been towed. By a car. By a car. Yeah. Here we go. And the answer is. You're towed by a by bike. Another bike. <laughs> it looks nice wherever they are. It's sunny. Yeah, nice and sunny. Okay, fourth one. What? What? What are the scores? We didn't keep up the scores. Uh, I've got one so far. You've got one. So two to me, one to you. All right. How many we got? Five. A lot less than last time, so it's, <laughs> so it's just the one part today. <laughs> okay, next one. That is it. Here, here are your options. Um, a, he's swimming to retrieve his bike from that was stolen by an alligator. B, more cyclists emerge from the water. And C, he emerges from the depths on a bike. Well, I initially thought it looked like he was cycling in... 
the river, so I'm going to go with he cycles out the river. <laughs> like an absolute tank. <laughs> <laughs> it's Pete Smith down Godney Road. I don't, that, that's going to require some serious leg power, man. That's some power. <laughs> that's some proper power. You got that one right. So, so we yeah. did, it was too, it's all tied up again. So on the last one. On the last one. Will I win this time? Okay, your last last one. I'm just going to give you the still. A. Name this position. A. He, he throws the bike into a ditch. It's a he. I, I think so. I think that's a woman. I think it's a he. he that might be the that might be the bonus point. Then. <laughs> to sort it all out, is this a man? I, I'm going to go with the Superman because that was my first thought, but I still think it's a she. <laughs> Superman's faster than all people. Perhaps it is a man. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Bruce. <laughs> but there you go. Those are your five what happens next. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> I told you I was a guy. I found these videos and it was a guy. Oh so, so you win again. Did so I win? You yes, did. I win. I win. Yay. So that's two episodes to me. Two episodes to you. Mm. I clearly need to try harder. Right, so the update on the not a star on an unreasonably priced bike is here. So well done, Ollie. Flying lap. You can beat my time. And well done, Jane. Top lady at the minute. And a special mention to Del, who's also had a go. But she went the wrong way. <laughs> well, A for effort, Del. <laughs> a for effort. <laughs> she said a really good time around the wrong course. Maybe next time, Del. Maybe next time. Right, so what have we got next? Next, we're going to be doing real or fake again. Real or fake. Because it went so well the first time around. <laughs> but real or fake. Tour de France winner edition. So they, they, they have either won the Tour de France or they're made up and don't exist. Up. So I'm really sorry to the names of the people that do exist because I am about to butcher them to hell. <laughs> it, 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 seemed, it seemed like a really good concept until I realised I had to read the names <laughs> out. The first one. Esso Chavez. Esso Chavez, what, as in petrol? No, fake. No, S O spelt E S A U. Still fake. Yeah, it's fake. <laughs> <laughs> Ding. Number two. Jamin Yotam. Fake. He's also fake. Oh, I can I can zoom in and get them. <laughs> Rene Potier. That's real. Real? He is real. Bonus points to know when he won. <laughs> 1928. 1906. Ooh. Not too far. Nicholas France. I think you picked that one because it's got France in it, but I think that's real. He is real. Do you know when? 1928. <laughs> I just keep guessing till he's right. 1927 Ooh. and 1928. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Jammy. <laughs> Greg Lemond. That is definitely real. 1987. 86, 89 and 90. <laughs> right, next one. Pedro Delgado. He's also real. He is real. When did he win? Is that in the 80s or is that in the 60s? 88? 88 is correct. <laughs> Damn, you do know your cycling knowledge. Oh, don't zoom out and show the answers. <laughs> Avidon Samson. Fake. He is fake. Doing, doing really well. <laughs> if, I, if I get all of these right, has she got to do a forfeit? So put a, put a forfeit uh, in the oh, comments. <laughs> if I get all these right, oh, no, she's doing no, a forfeit. No. Oh. Riding a bike. <laughs> I can ride a bike. Coming, coming on a club ride. I'll have to set a time for around the <laughs> <laughs> Yes, you'll have to have a go at doing a lap around the course. Charlie Gould. Gold. That's Gal. an airport, isn't it? Gold. Gal. So that's fake. It's real. Did they name the airport after a Tour de France winner then? Why are you asking me? We've already established I know nothing about cycling. Google that for me. He won in 1958. I think the airport's been there longer. <laughs> y Yil? Yili? Yili Hino. Bernard Hino has won. I've 
never heard of that one, so I'm going to say fake. It is fake. <sighs> Am I still 100%? No, you got one wrong. Oh. I have a good memory. <laughs> Zachariah R Rotham. Rotham? Rotham. Fake. It is fake. <laughs> they won in 19 no November. Jupe. Zutum. Zutum. <laughs> no. Milk? They're definitely a real cyclist. And they've definitely been in the Tour de France, but did they only ever come second? Have you been crafty? I am known for my craftiness. I've got a feeling he's never won. He's real, but I don't think he's ever won the Tour de France. I think he came second a lot. So fake. He won in 1980. <laughs> Bernard? Bernard? Pantani. No, Pantani is Marco Pantani. That's a fake. That is fake. Gino Batali. He's true. He's Italian. He is real. And when did he win? 67. 38. Bit off there. Bit off. <laughs> <laughs> He's almost as old as Keith. Va Vasil Mays. Ooh. Real. You can't remember, can you? Slay the cross, just to check. It's fake. <laughs> can you not remember whether you made that one up? I don't know. <laughs> I did this like last week. <laughs> Roger Walkowiak. Wal Wal Valkowiak. He's sure. real. <laughs> He's real. When, when did he win? 73. 56. Now, should we? Shall I read the last five decisions? You remember when you speak Victoria? <laughs> Luis Ocana. Is real. He's apparently the greatest ever climber on a bicycle. He is real, but when did he win? He was around the same time as um, Eddie Merckx, so he's got to be in the sixties. Sixty-five. Seventy-three. Bernard Bernard Kubler. Kubla, Kubla. Fake. He is fake. <laughs> Bernard de what? Bernard de Duala. De Duala. <laughs> See, I think there was a Duala. I don't know whether it was Bernard. Let's go real. He's fake. <laughs> Lucien Lucien Van Bannon is Imp. real. He is real. He when Dutch. did he win? 70s, 79. 76. And then my last one. <laughs> Bernard Tevenet. Bernard, Bernard he's real. He is real. When did he win? 1977? Yes. Oh, bonus points. I have fun with all the Bernards there. <laughs> <laughs> I realised there were a lot. There's a lot of Bernards, yeah. A lot of Frenchmen called Bernard. So I won that one hands down. Oh yeah, easy. So he clearly knows a lot about both. Tour de France. So next week I reckon we ought to do what tool is this for? Where I'm going to get all the tools out of my bike shed. Not all of them, but a selection. She has to guess what the tool is for. Cycling. Cycling stuff. <laughs> bike repairs. Yeah, and don't forget, if she, if she loses next week, that's four in a row. I think we need a forfeit. And I need some suggestions down in the comments. What? I'm not getting paid. Why did I agree to do this? <laughs> anyway, we're going to finish up with comment of the week, daughter joke of the week. So, try to up my one from last week. You ready? Yeah, don't laugh. A sheep, a drum, and a snake fall off a cliff. But I'm. <laughs> 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 Right, so comment of the week is coming from Robert Phillips, no relation. Hi, bruv. <laughs> <laughs> Great views of the descent from Cheddar Gorge. Um, just saying as I was watching it, how are you getting all around without the coffee and cake? Really struggling without the coffee and cake. Thanks again for watching. Uh, we'll be back next week with episode three. If you have any more ideas for stuff we can do and challenge each other with, then let us know in the comments down below. But until then, make sure that you like. Comment. Subscribe and click the notification <laughs> bell, and we'll be with you again oh dear, oh next dear. Wednesday at five. Stay Bye. Safe. Bye. Bye. Bye.